Mesdames, Messieurs, bonsoir. Euh, bienvenue à la Maison de la Poésie. Ce soir, vous allez assister à une lecture performance de l'immense Sonia Sanchez. Sonia Sanchez est une poétesse, professeure d'université, euh, activiste également, poétesse parce qu'elle a une, une œuvre littéraire très prolifique et récompensée par de très nombreux euh, prix littéraires. Euh, professeure d'université qui a co-initié euh, les Black Studies euh, dans différentes facs américaines et avec une attention particulière euh, sur les autrices afro-américaines et euh, activiste. Elle a participé à la création donc, du BAM, le Black Arts Movement, qui est un groupe euh, artistique en faveur euh, des droits civiques. Ce soir, elle va donc vous lire en anglais euh, une sélection euh, de, ces, de ces textes. Euh, messieurs, dames, l'immense Sonia Sanchez. Bonsoir. How are you? I always say how you be. Right. And I hope you be fine. Oh, good. good. Well, you know, it's such a crazy time for us as human beings that it's always good to ask how you be. Because sometimes we don't be all right. Right. But some of the crazy people who, who say they're our leaders. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, completely. A lot of insanity going on, but I maintain that we humans, most especially you young people, have got to understand very much uh, your role, the need for you to really, at some point, help us get this sucker together. Um, because the people who are running things, you should check out their age, <laughs> right? And, uh, and what they know and what they don't know, but what you know as young people is that uh, you hang out with a lot of people and you respect a lot of people and you understand that not only do we have to finally settle this thing called race in the world, right? Understanding that at some point, you know, there's no one better than the other and also maybe send that 1% with all the billions to the moon um, because they really do want to go there. They, re they really feel that... Um, They can do great business up there. And I like to see them open a bank up there. Um, and, but maybe we can then get on with, with the whole idea of saving this earth. It's an amazing place with amazing people. Uh, and we need to do that. Um, so anyway, I thank you for coming out. Um, it's been raining today. And, uh, and the way I knew that is because um, I was in a tornado. And, and uh, don't ever get in a tornado. It will give you something called vertigo. And that's a vicious little ailment because it will um, make you understand that you feel, you know, the body going crazy from rain, from snow, from hurricanes, whatever, et cetera. So I um, uh, had to really kind of take it slow today. But thank you for coming out in this bad weather. And I want to begin... Uh, tonight with a piece I did for Toni Morrison, um, uh, our dear sister who made transition a couple of months ago, um, a great writer. Uh, some of you know Toni Morrison's work? Ah, yeah. uh, thank you, thank you. Well, you know, I used to introduce her quite often, and I do everything longhand. You know, all of my, all of my friends who are writers, they tease me, why don't you get on that computer, Sonia? And I say, yeah, you stay on there. Um, but I <laughs> do everything longhand. And, uh, and so quite often when she'd come in the city, I'd be asked to introduce her, and then I'd go looking for one of the introductions. I could never find it because it's in some little notebook someplace, right? So I would have to do another one. So the good thing is that it made me do a number of intros and pieces on her. <coughs> This is simply uh, called Introduction of Toni Morrison, 51812, Philadelphia. You said we die. That may be the meaning of life. But we do language. That may be the measure of our lives. And my dear sister Toni Morrison, how you do this thing called language, the measure of our lives, how you recapture our words, untangle this language, how you stand words up, let them minuet our blood. 
how you open up the sorcery of language, spitting teeth on the wonder of words, recapturing the wings of our most sacred vows. Listen, you say, summer is around the bend, and you anoint our eyes with surprise, bring us into the flesh of rain and laughter called paradise, love, Sula, jazz, the bluest eye, song of Solomon, tar baby, beloved, a mercy, God help the child. Mm -hmm. We commandeer your words spinning under this domestic sky, and they become a river moving against winter sails, repelling ice water ghosts kneeling on razor thin knees at confession. Our bodies are tattooed forever with your quicksilver tongue, and we are one, alive, apart from the elasticity of the dead. The day comes, my dear sister, breathing in your eyes of silk, and I remember your words, don't tell us what to believe, what to fear. Show us belief's wide skirt and the stitch that unravels fear's cave. And I thank you for this pro stitch called home, where men and women, shipwrecked with flesh and disguise, graveyard memories settling in their feet, walk themselves back home in air as black as their smile their hearts still searching for gusts of life as they dress their limbs in starch bones and new memory. I put on my eyes, my dear sister. I am in the eyelash of your memory where there is always a small miracle called home. For Sister Toni Morrison. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'll do sort of a little retrospective, some early poems, and then later on some poems. A poem that I did, these are poems in uh, the 60s, Homecoming. I have been away so long. Once after college, I returned tourist style to watch all the niggers killing themselves with three for oneers with needles that could not support their stutters. Now, woman, I have returned, leaving behind me all those hide and seek faces peeling with fraud and dreams. This is for real, black niggers, my beauty. Baby, I have learned it ain't like they say in the newspapers. Poem at 30. It is midnight, no magical bewitching hour for me. I know only that I am here, waiting, remembering that once as a child, I walked two miles in my sleep. Did I know then where I was going, traveling? I am always traveling. I want to tell you about me, about nights on a brown couch when I wrap my bones in lint and refuse to move. No one touches me anymore. Father, do not send me out among strangers. You, you, black man, stretching, scraping the mold from your body. Here is my hand. I am not afraid of the night. Poem called Malcolm. Do not speak to me of martyrdom, of men who die to be remembered on some parish day. I don't believe in dying, though I too shall die and violets like castanets will echo me. Yet this man, this dreamer, thick lit with words, will never speak again. And in each winter, when the cold air cracks with frost, I'll breathe his breath and mourn my gun-filled nights. He was the sun that tagged the western sky and melted tiger scholars while they searched for stripes. He said, forget you, white man. We have been curled too long. Nothing is sacred now, not your white face, nor any land that separates until some voices squat with spasms. Do not speak to me of living. Life is obscene with crowds of white on black. Death is my pulse. What might have been is not for him or me, but what could have been floods the womb 
until I drown. A poem for my father, all 60s poems. How sad it must be to love so many women, to need so many black perfumed bodies weeping underneath you. When I remember all those nights, I fill my mind with long wars between short-sighted Trojans and Greeks while you slap some wide hips about in your private dungeon. When I remember your deformity, I want to do something about your makeshift manhood. I guess that is why on meeting your sixth wife, I cross myself with her confessionals. Blues. In the night, in my half-hour Negro dreams, I hear voices knocking at the door. I see walls dripping screams up and down the halls. Won't someone open the door for me? Won't someone schedule my sleep? And don't ask no questions, noise, like when he took me to his home, away from home place, and I died the long sought after death he planned for me. Yeah. Bessie, he put in the bacon, and it overflowed the pot. And two days later, when I was talking, I started to grin. As everybody knows, I am still grinning. <laughs> These are poems that I wanted you to hear, because we just don't get to where we are now without the early poems. And I started writing haku uh, you know, years ago, someone asked me at Columbia University after I finished reading a and a uh, Professor Sanchez, um, you know, the haku is, is Japanese, you know, verse. I said, ah, and they said, and he said, you're not Japanese. I said, you figure that out, huh? <laughs> but you never, ever are rude to people. So I smiled, came down off the stage and said, ah, you know, but we create what we create, and we hear what we hear, and we write what we write. And the thing with poetry is that it does not hold you for ransom, saying if you ain't just Japanese, you can't write haku. <laughs> if I had known, if I had known you, I would have left my love at home. Poem number eight, I've been a woman, I've been a woman, with my legs stretched by the wind, rushing the day, thinking I heard your voice while it was only the night moving over, making room for the dawn. Poem called Present, done in the early 70s. This woman vomiting her hunger over the world, this melancholy woman forgotten before memory came, this yellow movement bursting forth like cold trains, cold trains, melodies, old mouth, buttocks moving like palm trees, this honey-coated Alabamian woman raining rhythms of blue-black smiles, this yellow woman carrying beneath her breast pleasures without tongues, this woman whose body weaves desert patterns, this woman wet with wandering, reviving the beauty of forests and winds, is telling you secrets. Gather up your odors and listen as she sings the mold from memory. There is no place for a soft black woman. There is no smile green enough or summertime words warm enough to allow my growth. And in my head, I see my history standing like a shy child. And I chant lullabies as I ride my past on horseback, tasting the thirst of yesterday tribes, hearing the ancient black woman me singing, hey, hey, yeah, 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 beneath the sun, and I dance my creation, and my grandmothers gathering from my bones like great wooden birds spread their wings while their long-legged laughter stretches the night, and I taste the seasons of my birth, mangoes, papayas, drink my woman coconut milks, stalk the ancient grandfathers sipping on proud afternoons, walk with a song round my waist, tremble like a newborn child, trouble with new breaths, and my singing becomes the only sound of a blue-black magical woman walking womb right, walking loud with mornings, walking, making pilgrimage to herself, walking. 
And so those are some early poems that I did. I just wanted to share them with you because I think it's important sometimes to give some kind of um, history uh, to the poetry that you will hear later on. Um, I had a student who was 16 and uh, who had come to college, and I went to college at 16 and got out at 19 and a half, so, you know, she was brightly bright, and all of a sudden she stopped showing up at class, and, you know, I'm a professor, I will hunt you down when you do that. Um, <laughs> so I hunted her down. She, oh, she says, oh, I'm dropping out of school, I'm getting married. I said, oh, my dear sister, no one needs to get married at 16. No one needs to get married at 20. No one needs to get married at 24. No one needs to get married at 28. Maybe by 30, you know, you'll be ready to settle in and understand this thing, this strange thing, you know, uh, called getting married. And she ignored me and went on. And one, mo one uh, night, <coughs> there was a knock on my windows. I lived on Riverside Drive, and there were about eight students. They said they couldn't contact Maria. And, and um, they thought that, uh, you know, she was in trouble, uh, that maybe she was dealing, I think the thing had gone wrong. She had gotten married and it wasn't working out. So I had a Volkswagen, and so about 10 of us piled in my Volkswagen, imagine that, if you will, um, and drove up and, you no, know, we knew where she lived. So, you know, New York City super sometimes lived downstairs and I knocked on the door and said, you know, I'm Dr. Sanchez. and. My grad student has a blah, 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 and I need to, you know, to pick up some papers. And, you know, you look kind of, you know, sane. So he opened the door, and there she was on the floor. And she, you know, so we, you know, got her up and walked her back. And one of the other students stayed with her for a while. I wrote this poem, Ballad After the Spanish. Forgive me if I laugh. You are so sure of love. You are so young and I too old to learn of love. The rain exploding in the air is love. The grass excreting her green wax is love. And stones remembering past steps is love. But you, you are too young for love and I too old once. What does it matter when or who I knew of love? I fixed my body under his and went to sleep in love. All trace of me was wiped away. Forgive me if I smile, young heiress of a naked dream. You are so young, and I too old to learn to blow. Once, 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 once. What does it matter when or who I knew of love? I fixed my body under his and went to sleep in love. All trace of me was wiped away. Forgive me if I smile, young heiress of a naked dream. You are so young, 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 of love, to learn of love. That's for Maria, who is a lawyer now, today. <laughs> uh, so those are some of the earlier pieces that I wanted to let you hear um, uh, how we went talking about the country and about ourselves um, in the 1960s, and I did then afterwards some poems for young sisters because I, you know, I taught. I taught for 42 years in academe, right? And, um, uh, you know, the, uh, what you do, and I, and I initiated the first course on black women lit, um, a course called The Black Woman, which was not my idea. Uh, I was teaching at the University of Pitt, and, this, and the women were always hanging outside my office. And one day I said offhandedly, oh, sometimes I think we need a course on you. But I said it offhandedly, but never say anything offhandedly to young, bright people, right? And then they said, uh-huh. And I said, well, I'm going home. I locked my office and went home to my twins. 
I got back to the office at 8 o'clock, and they, 20 women were lined outside my door. And they came in, and I had a very small office, and they all poured in. And they said, yes, 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 yes. Bibi Moore Campbell was one of my students, a writer. She said, yes, Professor Sanchez, we do need a course, and you need to teach it. I said, you do know my courses are already set for next semester, right? They said, yeah, 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 but we need a course. I said, and I turned as I was unpacking my briefcase to get, go to my class. I said, and yeah, and what would we call it, the black woman? And they said, yes. <laughs> So they said, before you go, would you send a note upstairs to the powers that be? So I got a piece of paper and wrote a little note, I'd like to teach this course, blah, 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 boom. I figured they would turn it down anyway. Uh, nobody was teaching a course called The Black Woman, my dear sisters and brothers, okay, um, in, uh, in 1969. That's pretty, that was the date. And so anyway, I came back from my class, and there was a note saying, what books would you use, Professor Sanchez? And so I got, I went to my, you know, my bookcase and books and sent some, sent it back up. They said, yes, you can. And the students, you know, the power of students, they see, we got it, we got it. And I figured only women would show up at this class, right? But I got in there, there were, there were about 35 women and about 30 men. And they said, we just came to the class, we want to know what you women are going to talk about probably about us. I said, well, I doubt it seriously. If we, <laughs> I don't think we, you, you're primary on this list of the black woman, right? <laughs> but it was a course that in the second week, one of the young women stood up and said, I hate all men. And I'm, I'm a, I was a new teacher. I mean, I just started teaching, and I did everything for my notes, so I never left, left the back of my, of, of my desk, right? Because I'm always referring to my notes. And I went to my syllabus. There was nothing that said, I hate all black men, you know. So in a classroom, you know, you deal with being human. And so I came out and went from my desk, and we held her. In fact, the whole class held her tears. Um, and what it was was incest. There was nothing on my syllabus that had incest. So I went back around and penciled in incest and wrote, go to the library the weekend. And this was very real. Uh, so whenever you begin to teach something, more than just the syllabus that you set up, it would be something else beyond that. Um, but one of the things that I, I also did is that I always went into uh, the elementary and junior high schools and, and the young girls. And so I did a, a poem called Song Number Two for young girls. I say all you young girls waiting to live. I say all you young girls taking your pill. I say, all oh, your sisters tired of standing still. I say, all oh, your sisters thinking you won't, but you will. Don't let them kill you with their stare. Don't let them closet you with no air. Don't let them feed you sex piecemeal. Don't let them offer you any ordeal. I say, step back, sisters. We rising from the dead. I say, step back, Johnnies. We dancing on our heads. I say, step back, man. No more hanging by a thread. I say, step back, world. Can't let it all go unsaid, too. I say, all oh, you young girls molested at 10. I say, all you young girls giving it up again and again. I say, all your sisters hanging out in every den. I say, all your sisters needing your own oxygen. Don't let them trap you with their coke. Don't let them cheat you like one fat joke. Don't let them bleed you till you're broke. Don't let them blind you in masculine smoke. I say, step back, sisters, we rising from the dead. I say, step back, Johnnies, we're dancing on our heads. I say, step back, man, no more hanging by a thread. I say, step back, world, can't let it all go unsaid. I say, step back, world, can't let it all go unsaid. So some young, 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 young sisters, right, who memorized that. And the next year I came, they got up and read it, but they did it. You know, young people are just amazing. They did it with a dance, you know what I mean? You're like, step back, sisters. I say, yeah, go on, yeah, do it. Uh, um, I like to do... Um, a sort of fun blues. I love the blues. Some of you who read me know that I, I deal constantly with the blues, right? Uh, I've been keeping company with the layaway man. I say I've been keeping company with the layaway man. Anyone know what the layaway man is? I thought not, because there's always a response to the layaway man. Anyone know a layaway man? In the States, you know, when you um, want to buy something and you're poor like we were growing up, you know, right? Well, you put it on a layaway plan. So you gave a little money at the beginning, and then you kept coming back paying weekly or monthly, right? 
So I've been keeping company with the layaway man. I said, I've been keeping company with the layaway man. Each time he come by, we do it on the installment plan. Every Friday night, he come walking up to my dough. I said, every Friday night, he come walking up to my dough. Empty pockets hanging right on down to the floor. Going to get me a man who pays for it up front. I said, going to get me a man who pays for it up front. Because when I need it, can't wait till the middle of next month. I've been keeping company with the layaway man. I said, I've been keeping company with the layaway man. Each time he come by, we do it on the installment plan. Each time he come by, we do it on the installment plan. A little funny blues um, for the installment plan, right? I hope you're not doing it on the installment plan. <laughs> yeah. Um, and I want to do a piece that I did for Sweet Honey in the Rock. Do any of you know Sweet Honey in the Rock? Ah, yeah. oh, thank you. I recorded this with them um, um, in, I forget the name of the album uh, they did, but um, Sister Bernice Reagan called me and said, we're going into the studio. We, I'm gonna um, do music for, um, uh, I'm gonna stay on the battlefield. Um, and I said, oh, and she said, and we'd like for you to, um, um, you know, to write something, a new piece for it, and, uh, and record it. So I said, great. But being the organized person that I am, for all you poets and writers out there, you know what I mean. I uh, was traveling someplace, and I was going for two weeks um, in Florida to do a workshop with young writers. And um, so I went off. She sent me the music. So every night I went to sleep with the music of them singing it. So it was in my head. But I got back home, and the telephone rang. It was Sister Bernice Reagan. She said, uh, Sonia, we need your piece because it's going to go on the back of the book, the album, rather. And I hadn't even read the book. So uh, I, she said, you're coming down to do a reading at... Um, one of those buildings in D.C., I forget now what, what, what it was. Um, and we'll, I'll send my sister to pick it up. I said, okay. Well, my dear sisters and brothers, I did not do that piece. So I got down to D.C. I did my reading. You know, I said goodbye. I saw Bernice's assistant. I went out the side door, got in a car, got on a train, went back to Philadelphia. At 7 a.m. the next morning, Sister Bernice called and said, my dear sister, do you need help? I said, my dear sister, I need two days to write the piece, right? <laughs> so I did. Thank God for patience for them. So we recorded this, and it's a, they, are, they are just amazing, uh, amazing group. I'm going to say on the battlefield. I'm going to say on the battlefield. I'm going to say on the battlefield till I die. I'm going to stay on the battlefield. I'm going to stay on the battlefield. I'm going to stay on the battlefield till I die. I had come into the city carrying life in my eyes amid rumors of death, calling out to everyone who would listen. It is time to move us all into another century, time for freedom and racial and sexual justice, time for women and children and men, time for hands unbound. I had come into the city wearing peaceful breasts and the spaces between a smile I had come into the city carrying life in my eyes. I had come into the city carrying life in my eyes. And they follow us in their cars with their computers, and their tongues crawl with caterpillars. And they bumped us off the road, turned over our cars, and they bombed our buildings, killed our babies, and they shot our doctors maintaining our bodies. And their courts changed into confessionals, but we kept on organizing, we kept on teaching, believing, loving, doing what was holy, moving to a higher ground, even though our hands were full of slaughtered teeth. But we held out our eyes, delirious with grace. But we held out our eyes, delirious with grace. I'm going to treat everybody right. I'm going to treat everybody right. I'm going to treat everybody right till I die. I'm going to treat everybody right. I'm going to treat everybody right. I'm going to treat everybody right till I die. Come. 
I say, come, you sitting still in domestic bacteria, come. I say, come, you standing still in double-breasted mornings, come. I say, come and return to the fight, this fight for the earth, this fight for our children, this fight for our life. We need your hurricane voices. We need your sacred hands. I say, come, sister, brother, to the battlefield. Come into the rainforest. Come into the hood. Come into the barrio. Come into the schools. Come into abortion clinics. Come into the ghettos. Come into the high rises. Come into the prisons. Come and caress our spines. I say, come, wrap your feet around justice. I say, come, wrap your tongues around truth. I say, come, wrap your hands with deeds and prayer. You brown ones, you yellow ones, you black ones, you gay ones, you white ones, you lesbian ones, you Muslim ones, you Jewish ones, you LGBT ones. Come, 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 come to this battlefield called life, called life, called life. I'm going to stay on the battlefield. I'm going to stay on the battlefield. I'm going to stay on the battlefield till I die. I'm going to stay on the battlefield. I'm going to stay on the battlefield. I'm going to stay on the battlefield till I die. Come, 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 come to this battlefield called life, 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 life. Mm. That's the piece. Mm -hmm. In New York City, when they um, uh, inaugurated uh, women into uh, their priesthood, I was asked to, um, they asked me would I do a poem for them there at the theological seminary, so I wrote this poem for them. And it's called, Are ye bobo, praise God. Oh ye 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 bo 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 praise God. Ah ye 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 bo bo praise God. There are women sailing the sky. I walk between them. They who wear silk, cotton and burlap skins, touching mine. They who dance between urine and violets. They who are soiled, disinherited angels with masculine eyes. This earth is heart symmetry, this earth of feverish war, this earth inflamed with hate, this patch of tongues corroding the earth, earth's air, who will journey to the place we require of humans. I grow thin on these algebraic equations reduced to a final common denominator too. I turn away from funerals, from morning lightning. I feast on rain and laughter. What is the sound I hear moving through our bones? I breathe out, leaving our scent in the air. Three, I came to this life with serious hands. I came observing the terrorist eyes moving in and out of southern corners. I wanted to be the color of bells. I wanted to surround trees and spill autumn from my fingers. I came to this life with serious feet, heard other footsteps gathering around me, women whose body exploded with flowers for life. Life, 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 ah. life, 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 ah. yeah, 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 yeah. From curl embryo to greed to flesh, transistors, transistors, web pages obscuring butterflies. Our life is a feast of flutes, orbiting chapels. No beggar women here, no treasonous spirit here, just a praise touch created from our spirit tongues. We bring the noise of mountain language. We bring the noise of Sunday mansions. We enter together, paddling a river of risk in order to reshape this wind, this sea, the sky, this dungeon of syllables. We have become nightingales, singing us out of fear, splashing the fair places with light. We are here on the green of leaves, on the shifting waves of blues, knowing once that our places divided us, knowing once that our color divided us, knowing once that our class divided us, knowing once that our sex divided us, knowing once that our countries divided us. Now we carry the signature of women in our veins. Now we build our reconciliation canes in morning fields. Now the days no longer betray us as we ascend into wave after wave of our blood milk. What can we say without blood? What can we say without blood? What can we say without blood? Five, herstory, herstory smiles at us. Little by little we shall interpret the
the decorum of peace. Little by little, we shall make circles of these triangular stars. We shall strip mine, the world's eyes of secrets. We shall gather up our voices, braid them into our flesh like emeralds. Come, bring us all the women's hands. Let us knead calluses into smiles. Let us gather the mountains in our children's eyes. Distill our unawakened love. Talk to the mangoes. Speak to the uniform men, the nuns, the prostitutes, the rain mothers, the squirrels, the clouds, the homeless. Come, celebrate our footsteps, insatiable as sudden breathing. Love curves the journey of these women's sails. Love says, a woman, a woman, a woman. To these tongues of thunder, come. Celebrate this prayer I bring to our common ground. It is enough to confound the conquistadores. It is enough to shape our lace, our name. Make us become healers. Come, celebrate the poor, the women, the gays, the lesbians, the men, the children, the transgenders, the black, brown, yellow, white, sweat, peeling with stories. Ah, I bobo, I bobo, I bobo. I spit on the ground. I spit language on the dust. I spit memories on the water. I spit hope on this seminary. I spit teeth on the wonder of women, holy volcanic women, recapturing the memory of our most sacred sounds. Come. Ay 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 come ay 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 come come ay 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 where the drum speaks come tongue by fire and water and bone come praise God and Jehovah and Allah and Buddha and all goon and Shango and all lacoon and all ya and Jesus come praise our innocence our decision to be human we enter the spirit of morning doves. And our God is near, I say, our God is near, I say, our God is near. Aye, bobo, aye, ye, 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 bobo, aye, bobo, praise God, praise God, praise God for these magnificent women. It's a piece I did for them on the occasion that they became. like to um, do some haku. Anyone know Max Roach here? Yeah. Oh, the great, great percussionist drummer. If you Google Max Roach, you'll see uh, um, he's, he's, um, he's buried um, uh, with, um, in this alcove of musicians, black musicians, um, Duke, um, Illinois Jacket. Uh, a bunch of people. <laughs> um, but, you know, Miles uh, wanted to be buried right next to Duke. And people said, Miles, no, before he died, Miles, you cannot. But Miles was cool to the end. He's right next to Duke on this amazing big tree there at a place called Woodlawn Cemetery. So, uh, and Sia Cruz is up on the hill uh, in a crypt, right? You know, she and her husband. It is so big. I told Max's daughter, Maxine, that things get tough. We can really move in there. <laughs> because, I mean, we really can. Because it's that big. Um, and you can bring in a little, you know, a little stove and, and you know, sleepers and whatever. And uh, not pay rent for a while. <laughs> right? <laughs> uh, Max. A genius. Ten haku for Max Roach. Nothing ends. Every blade of grass remembering your sound. Your sounds exploding in the universe return to earth in prayer. Da boom. Da boom. Da boom. As you drum, your hands kept reaching for God. The morning sky so lovely imitates your laughter. You came warrior clear, your music kissing our spines, feet tapping, singing in peach our blood. I do, 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 I
I do, and you came drumming sweet life on sails of flesh. Da, I do the boom boom. Da, I do the boom boom. Da, I do the boom boom. Your fast speed ride in the air settles in our bones. I do 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 your hands shimmering on the legs of rain for Brother Max Roach. Yeah. Mm. You can um, Google him and see where he is with all those great musicians there. And um, yeah. 14 Haku for Emmett Lewis Till. Your limbs buried in northern muscle carry their own heartbeat. Mississippi alert with conjugated pain. Young Chicago stutterer whistling more than flesh. Your pores, wild stars embracing southern eyes. Footprints blooming in the night Remember your blood. In this southern classroom, summer settles into winter. I hear your pulse swallowing neglected light. Your limbs fly off the ground, little birds. We taste the blood ritual of southern hands. Blue midnight breaths sailing on smiling tongues say no words. Time is collapsing in the woods. A mother's eyes remembering a cradle pray out loud. Walking in Mississippi, I hold the stars between my teeth. Your death, a blues I could not drink away. I was recently in Mississippi and went to that place where there's so many um, black bodies buried there in that river. Um, and the whole time I was there for two days, my brothers and my sisters, I was awakened the entire night, but it was nothing, it was nothing um, um, unfriendly. It was just reminder wakes, so you don't forget, you know. And I would get up and just sort of walk around, go back to sleep, and be awakened again by all those bodies, you know, in those rivers. Ah. You have to ask sometimes, why are we human beings not human? I went to, um, I did not go, um, but in a place called, um, in a place called um, Maryland, uh, they have they have um, in the state park there uh, names of the people, some of the names of the, some of the people that Harriet Tubman freed. Uh, and the sign says we are free because of, and they list it by dates and the names. December 1850, we are free because of Harriet Tubman. December 1850, Kasaya, Jolly, Foley, James, Alfred Bowley, six years old, Araminta, baby, John Bowley, free, early 1851, Moses Ross, brother, unidentified man, unidentified man, late 1851, unidentified man called brother, unidentified wife of brother, unidentified, 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 unidentified. Fall, 1852, unidentified, 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 June 1854, Winnebar, 
Johnson, Christmas, 1854, Robert Ross, alias John Stewart, Henry Ross, alias William Henry Stewart, brother, Benjamin Ross, Jr., alias James Stewart, brother, Jane Kane, Peter Jackson, alias Staunch, John Chase, alias Daniel Lord, unidentified, 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 early 1855, Harriet Ann Parker Ross, alias Harry Ann Stewart, free wife of William Henry Ross Stewart Sr., William Henry Ross, free son of William Ross Stewart Sr., John Isaac Ross, alias John James Isaac Stewart, free son of William Henry Ross Stewart Sr., December 1855, Henry Hooper, May 1856, Ben Jackson, James Coleman, Henry Hopkins, William Conaway, October 1856, Tilly, November 1856, Hosea Bailey, William Bailey, Peter Pennington, Elijah Manakee. May 1857, Harriet Ritt Green Ross, Benjamin Ross. November, December 1860, Stephen Enos, Maria Enos, Harriet Enos, Amanda Enos, Baby Enos, John Corners, Ellis John Wesley Reed, unidentified woman, unidentified man, un. Identified, unidentified, unidentified. Unknown dates, Margaret Stewart, Anne Marie Stewart, unidentified twin girl, unidentified twin girl, Amelia Hollis, Henry Carroll, unidentified, 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 Identify, unidentify. Haku and Tonka for Harriet Tubman. Picture a woman riding thunder on the legs of slavery. Picture a woman walking southern landscapes burning with moons. Picture her kissing our spines, say no to the eyes of slavery. Picture her rotating the earth into a shape of lives becoming. Picture her leaning to the eyes of our birth clouds. Picture a woman moving in winter black, ringing summer moons. <coughs> Picture this woman Say no to the constant yes of slavery. Picture a woman jumping rivers, her legs inhaling moons. Picture her right with seasons of legs running. Picture her tasting the secret corner of woods. Picture her saying, you have within you the strength, the patience, passion to reach for the stars to change the world. Imagine her words, every great dream begins with a dreamer. Imagine her saying, I freed a thousand slaves, could have freed a thousand more if they only knew they were slaves. <laughs> Imagine her humming how many days we got before we take freedom. Imagine a woman asking how many workers for this freedom quilt. Picture her saying, a live runaway could do great harm by going back. But a dead runaway could tell no secrets. <laughs> Picture the daylight bringing her to woods full of birth moons. Picture John Brown shaking her hands three times saying, General Tubman, General Tubman, General Tubman. Picture her words, there's two things I got a right to, death or liberty. Picture her saying no to a play called Uncle Tom's Cabin. I am the real thing. Picture a black woman could not read or write, trailing freedom refrains. Picture her face turning southward, walking down a southern road. Picture this woman, freedom bound, tasting a people's preserved breath. Picture her singing red moons, surprising life. Picture this woman of royalty, wearing a crown of morning air. Picture her walking, running, reviving a country's breath. 
Picture her moon bent legs dancing inside freedom's guitar. Picture black forces leaving behind lost tongues. Picture her painting rainbows on a summer bent people. Picture a woman. I say picture a woman walking on freedom legs, a sea spray of life. That's for Haku, for Harriet Tubman. Um, I did a poem for a woman by the name of Maxine Green, who was um, a teacher and administrator at Columbia University. Um, peace for Maxine Green. Peace, what is it? Is it an animal, a bird, a plane, a mineral, a color, a drum beat, do ba 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 da ba do 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 do. Is it a verb, a noun, an adjective, a prophet with no pockets, circling our paragraph lies, do ba 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 do ba do da ba ba da ba ba da bo. Du Bois said the cause of war is the preparation of war. Du Bois said the cause of war is the preparation of war. I say the cause of peace must be the preparation of peace. I say the cause of peace must be the preparation of peace, blah blah blue. Blah, blah, blue, 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 blue. Shall I prepare a table of peace before you in the presence of my enemies? Shall I prepare a table of peace? Will you know how to eat at this table? Skeezy, do 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 da ba ba da ba da ba boo. Where are the forks of peace? Where are the knives of peace? Where are the spoons of peace? Where are the eyes of peace? Where are the hands of peace? Where are the tongues of peace? Where are the children of peace? Peace, peace, ding, 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 peace, peace, peace. Is peace in action? Action, a way of life? Is it a tension in our earth body? Is peace you and I seeing beyond bombs and babies roasting on country roads? Peace must not be still. We have to take it on the road, marching against Pentagon doors, lurking in obscenity. Peace must not find us on our knees while the country holds hostage the hearts and penises of the workers. Bleep, 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 blue. Bleep, 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 blue. Do, 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 boom. Do, 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 boom. Do, 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 boom. Can you say peace? Can you resurrect peace? Can you house the language of peace? Can you write a sermon of peace? Can you populate the cause of peace? Dee da 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 peace, la 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 peace, dee da 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 peace. A long time ago, someone said, I think, therefore I am. A long time ago, someone said, I think, therefore I am. Now we say preemptive strikes, therefore we are. Now we say drones, 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 therefore we are. Boom, 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 boom. Can you rise up at the sound of peace? Can you make peace lighter than air? Can you make peace seem like butterflies until peace becomes the noise of the planet? Until peace becomes the noise of the planet? Peace, peace, peace. I know as MLK knew that the universe is curved ultimately towards justice and peace. I know as MLK knew that the universe is curved ultimately towards justice and peace. For war is a sanction of failure. For war is a sanction of failure. Doom boom doom boom ba dun 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 do do dun 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 boom dun 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 do do dun 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 Martin said a ride is the language of the unheard and I say a terrorist bomb is the language of the unheard. How to make the unheard heard without blowing themselves and the world up. How to make the unhurt hurt without blowing themselves and the world up. Boom! Most have said speech is my hammer. Bang, my world into shape. Now let it fall. I say peace is my hammer. Bang, my world into peace. And let it fall on the eyes of the children. Freya Jacques, do, 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 do. Freya Jacques, do, 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 do. Do me vu, vu, ding, do, ding, ding. Do me vu, do, do, ding, ding, ding. Where are the forks of peace? Where are the knives of peace? Where are the spoons of peace? Where are the eyes of peace? Where are the hands of peace? Where are the tongues of peace? Where are the children of peace? Where are you? You, 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 you. Where are you? You, 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 you. Where are you? You, 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 you. Where are you?
Mm-hmm. A poem about peace. Mm-hmm. I'm going to end with two pieces. Um, um, I was um, asked to do, again, a poem for a young woman. I didn't know her work at the time. Um, uh, She is um, a sculpture and a woman who does um, 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 uh, pieces and, and, and drawings and, and sculpture about women who have been oppressed, who have been raped, who have been sterilized. Um, Sister Wangiju Mutu, um, she was uh, asked to come to Drexel and put up her ex- exhibit, and she had uh, songs. She had songs about people eating too much. She had songs and people, uh, you know, uh, children uh, playing soccer uh, with, with, with pasted together uh, uh, tape instead of balls. Um, so she talks about women who are abused, and I call the piece Belly, Buttocks, and Straight Spines. For Sister Wangichimutu, you in a gaddock, you in a matic woman exploding from clouds and intestines, riverbanks, kneecaps, veins and horizons, tongues embroidered with eyelashes, You burn in my throat. I walk your footsteps singing you are here, you are there, you will never go away. You kiss your own breath, sleepwalk your eyes, stretch out with moths singing your lips. Two, I know you, butterfly sweet. Your lips, taste of the sea. The years dusty with herstory, anticipate light. Your hands riot with pain, collapse in new prayer. Touch this western stained glass where ghosts commit themselves to military blood. The bleeding hips surrounding your teeth wrapped in laughter, blood laughter, brittle noise, seaweed souls, whistling words. Who little pumpkin are you? Who is your sister? Where is your mama? Our thumbs bleed ashes in this travel dust bowl, too. This is a blues sermon, I think, hanging from the sky stretching, scratching at the night where literary brains demystify deaths. Seen from the angle of your life, you turn at the waist in red and purple confetti. The day stitches up your python mouth. You stroll black beyond the stars, star-leaping black-skinned woman. Seen from the angle of the camera, you become the mug shot, mugging a century of incestuous nipples. Sound, video, smell, riding death on its lens. Do not feed the animals they will bite one day. Who speaks? Who has spoken this squat? language. Where are the vowels and consonants and diphthongs? Do not feed the animals. They squat in herds and will bite one day. Four, red orange breasts leaking medical hieroglyphics. Bones for sale. Immaculate bones for sale. Stage right. Ethiopian bodies leaking into the ground. Stage left. Old clothes unburied, children's eyes undressed, men, men's pants unzipped, women slip slipping, standing backstage, awaiting modernity, master monsters with batons conducting infernos. Is God Carol, calling your limbs to pray, to pray on? What's in a name, a leg, a heart, a skull, an ancestral wind? Your intellect teases us with zero tolerance for lies. What's in a kiss, a smell, a black woman in white chalk, a woman sleepwalking on corners? What is erotic about a false step? Yo me espero, yo me espero, I wait for my coming, I wait for my coming. Now, as your congregational knees kneel, now that your birth lives a long pause, now that you sigh amid the pale gaze of thirst, is that God's tongue sliding down your throat? Five, you'll say, you'll say, you'll say, I know, I know it, I know. Where is this brown-skinned woman going with her military hair? A bright hysterical flower, eating cake, smiling cake, regurgitating cake. You'll say, you'll say, you'll say, I know, I know it, I know. Smell the jelly roll woman squatting in her skin, her bright face eating blues, sorrow. Smell the doctoral urgency of her shudderings, female pain profiling her hunger. Who scrubs the day white while women fall down with crucifixions? Can you hear their bird spirits strumming gravity? Can you hear the saxophone, blood letting the ghost shout? 
Can you play this woman with your fingers? Can you hear her confetti feet dancing undeposited rhythms? Now hear this, now hear this. Hops the court teeth, mock breath smiles, put vaginas in a pill box for a while. Telegraphic buttocks in bathroom stalls. You are tattooed on our eyes against the tabloid walls. Mouths anointed with peacock pricks, hey, 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 here I am, here I am. Come along, take your pick. Hey, 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 listen, 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 woman of eye socket bone. Love can wear you down to a spinal eye bone. Love can make you drink your own blood. Lesson you gotta catch this bit. Don't go playing with love, love, blood. Six, silon, silon, my share. Kayate, kayate, me or more. No consecrated birth waters today. No quick silver blankets today. No surgical procedures today. Just Bantu music with an ostrich beat today. Just a night shudder under your arms today. Just a pistol with whip skin today. Just a lost pulse beat today. Just a railroad train of butts today. Just a machete beat against the sky today. Just some cock cocks standing at attention today. Listen. Listen, listen, Sister Wangichi. You hear me, don't you? And you hear, don't you, how your collages dance there at the tea delirium. Sister Wangichi, you hear me, don't you? You hear the sacred music eavesdropping these gallery walls, praising your beauty and bones in this hallway of lost sermons. You hear me, don't you? You hear the children running a furious circle of legs, jumping adolescent rhymes as they light up streets with garbage bag balls, as they spill their magical spines, their genius, their surplus knees on streets. It is evening, and we have arrived in your arms of lost seconds. You hear me, don't you? Even as you navigate this halo of ordained voyages, as you uncork the daylight, past these shadows, past our doors left open, and your gentle breath fills the day with sweet eyelids of silver as you arrive at the arc of your name. Sister Wanguchi Mutu, you hear me, don't you? And I invoke your name, your gallery of female matadors as they come and dance in thunder. It's a piece that I did for our dear sister um, who did um, a gallery of um, amazing uh, work on the abuse and the murder of women um, uh, in the diaspora, uh, not just on the continent, but also uh, in a place called America. I want to end up with a piece <coughs> called um, Middle Passage. Can I do two? Poem for some women. I did this on Death Poor Du Jam. Um, our dear brother, um, Death, introduced me. Huh? I'm all right. I say, I'm all right. What you're looking at? I say, I'm all right. Doing okay. I'm, I'm still writing, producing on the radio. Who are you fooling? I'm a, just a little ill now, just got a little Jones, Jones, Jones habit, habit, habit. Took my seven-year-old to the crack house with me on Thursday. Beautiful girl, pretty little girl, her mama done ever seen. Took her so she understand why I lake sometimes with her breakfast, dinner, bedtime meetings, bedtime love. Wanted her to know how hard it is for me, you know, a single woman here, out here on her own, you know. So I took her to the crack house where this man, this dog, this former friend of mine lived, wouldn't give me no crack, no action, even when I opened my thighs to give him some again for the umpteenth time. He said, no, all the while, looking at my baby, my pretty little baby, and he said, I want her, I need a virgin. Your stuff's too loose. You have so much traffic up there, you could park a truck up there and still have room for something else. And he laughed this long laugh, and I looked at him and the stuff he was holding his hand and you know I couldn't remember my baby's name he held the stuff out to me and I couldn't remember her birth date couldn't remember my daughter's face and I cried as I walked out that door what's her name pudding tang asked me again 
tell you the same thing. Couldn't even hear her screaming my name as he tore into her pretty little panties. Prettiest little girl you ever done seen. Prettiest little mama's baby you done ever seen. Bought my baby this pretty little leather jacket off the street when I went to pick her up Sunday, seven days later. Walked right up to the house, opened the door, saw her sitting on the floor. She said, Mama, 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 where you been? Mama, Mama, they hurt me something bad. I want to go home, Mama. Mama's little baby love shortening, shortening. Mama's little baby love shortening bread. Put on the jacket, put on the jacket. Mom's little baby loved shortening bread. When we got home, she wouldn't talk to me. She just sat and stared, wouldn't watch no TV when I turned it on. When we got home, she just stared at me with her eyes dark-like, just sat and looked at me with her eyes still. I had to get out of there, you know. Had to get out of there, you know. My baby ran away from home last week. My sweet little shortening bread ran away from home last night, and I dreamed she was dead, dreamed she was surrounded by panthers who tossed her back and forth, nibbling and biting and tearing her up. My little shortening bread ran away from home last week. Peekaboo, peekaboo, I see you and you and you and you and you, peekaboo, peekaboo, I see you and you and you. Peace I did for some children who are taken to places like that, period. And some children who are on the streets of America, the streets of Europe, the streets of Asia, and those children also who are sold into slavery again, sex slaves again. Middle passage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I am, I am, <laughs> I was, I am, I was, I am, I am, I was, I am, I was, I am. <laughs> it was, it was the coming, it was the coming that was bad. It was, it was the coming across the ocean that was bad. It was the coming, it was the coming, it was the coming that was bad. It was, it was the packing, the packing, <coughs> the packing, the packing, all of some ships that was bad. It was the packing, the packing, the packing, all of some ships that was bad. It was the coming, the coming, the coming, the crossing, the crossing, the crossing, the coming, the coming, the crossing, the crossing, the crossing that was bad. It was the raping that was bad. It was the raping that was bad. It was the raping. It was the raping. It was the raping. It was the raping that was bad. It was the silence. The noise. The noise. The silence. The noise. The noise. The silence. The noise. The silence. The noise. The silence. It was. I am. 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 Master, Jesus, standing, standing, that was bad, it was, it was, it was, the given birth, that was bad, it was the given birth, that was bad, every nine months, 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 I am, 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 I Shall be, I was, I am, I was, I am, I was, oh, Baba, 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 Mama, 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 they know that what they do here, do there, do there. You want to know who I am, huh? Want to know who I am? Can't you see who I am? Can't you see who I am? Don't you know who I am? Can't
you America, there you are. <laughs> there you are. I thought I lost you. Huh? There you are. Looking at me. Looking at me. Looking at me. Looking at me. I'm not looking at you. I'm not looking at you. You're looking at me. Looking at me. Looking at me. Looking at me. Whatever. I remember. I forget. Whatever I forget, I remember. Whatever I don't want to remember, I forget. Whatever I want to forget, I remember. I remember. I remember. I remember. I am here. They are here. I am here. They are here. I am here. Love. Love, love. Love, 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 love. What is it, America? Love, you don't know. You don't know. You know we know. You know we know. It was the coming that was bad. It was the coming that was bad across oceans, across seas, across eyes staring. It was the coming, 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 dying, 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 living, 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 dying, living, dying, living, living. How to live? How to live, 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 African. How to live? Live, 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 live. Whites, how to live, 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 blacks, how to live, 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 Europeans, how to live, 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 Latinos, how to live, 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 Native Americans, how to live, 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 Asians, how to live, 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 gays, how to live, 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 lesbians, how to live, 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 Jews, how to live, 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 Chicanos, how to live, 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 transgenders, how to live, 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 Muslims, how to live, 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 Bisexuals, how to live, 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 African American, how to live, 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 African Americans, how to live, love, how to live, love, how to live, love, love. How to live, love, how to love, love, how to live, live, how to live, live, how to love, love, live, 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 how to live, 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 live. Thank you. Thank you for coming out tonight. I'm having just a little problem with my throat. <laughs> but uh, I've been doing a lot of reading since I've been here. But it's good being back in, <clears throat> in Paris. The last time I was here, I was with a, a group, a jazz group. I love reading with jazz groups, you know. And um, I learned then how Parisians love jazz. Um, and I was asked in some interview someplace, I don't know who it was, somebody, um, said, you know, where's the best reading you've ever had. And I, my eyes and my head shot back to this big venue, wherever we were here in Paris, right? But also, I come from New York, and I must admit the greatest audiences are, are New Yorkers, okay? So I had to say to him, New York, and then I said, Paris is a great second, right? So thank you so much for putting up with this throat of mine tonight, okay? Mm -hmm.